The first thing you always want to do when programming in HSMWorks is creating a job setup. This is where we tell the software how things are located on our CNC machine, such as what we are machining, XYZ direction, location and stock. Creating the job is straightforward in HSMWorks. Let's take a quick look. I am going to click job on the command manager and we will get our properties to the left. Starting from the top of the job menu, you can select the operation type. Notice how HSMWorks automatically provides a flyout window with helpful descriptions. This is clearly a milling operation, so the default option will work here. If this was just a single part file, I would not have to do the next step. But since this is an assembly, I will specify which one is the part model I am going to machine. This will be helpful if using automatic toolpath selection and when simulating the toolpaths later. I will select the model by clicking anywhere on the model I will be machining. Next you can control your stock sizes. Relative size box lets you add extra stock to each side of your CAD model. Fixed size box is the measured dimensions of the raw stock. Also be aware that you can use from solid. This is a great option if you have a CAD model from before or after another operation such as heat treat or a coating operation, and it's also great if you're dealing with castings. In my case, I'm going to machine this out of a raw block of steel I measured, so I'll select fixed size box. Now we will concentrate on the XYZ axis and the work coordinate system. The work coordinate system is also by many referred as G54, G55 and is where your part zero is located. Out of the machine, your X, Y, and Z axis is pretty defined, but on a CAD model there is no set rule. Many times when you receive a model, an axis will be flipped in the wrong direction. Notice the triad or 3D gnomon display on the model to show axis direction. It is identical to the SOLIDWORKS triad in the lower left corner and is easy to adjust. When selecting on the drop down you will see many great options to control the XYZ, including having the powerful option to use SOLIDWORKS own coordinate system. I'll choose use stock and orientation. By selecting the top face on my model, the triad will change the Z direction. And beneath I can choose the pickup location for our part. I will choose top corner 3. What is nice about the stock orientation option is that the pickup is associated with the stock size. If the stock dimension is changed, our pickup will adjust accordingly. All I have to do now is hitting OK and our CAD model is aligned with what we have out on the machine and we are ready to apply the first toolpath.